First game up, let's head over here to the streets of Brooklyn here, guys. We have the Nets getting three points here at the house versus the Boston Celtics. Over and under sitting at 227.5 in this one, Ski. We know that there's no Kevin Durant in this one, but the line did open up at four and has since come down here. And I know Mr. Rest Advantage himself knows the situation in this game. What are we doing in this one, Ski? Yeah, and it's probably, you know, you can look at, you, you know, Mr. Rest Advantage and you look at the record that we just put up. I mean, last year, rest advantage for teams who had two plus days rest versus an unrested opponent. They were cashing at 64 percent against the spread for the season. This season it's lower 40. So a um, little bit of regression there. But today, yes, I think the Nets have three days rest. Celtics on the back to back. And my thought process here was. I mean, I know somebody's going to sit for the Celtics team. Just because, I mean, no Kevin Durant, they're going to look at the other side and think, you know, they can get away with resting somebody tonight. And sure enough, Jalen Brown pops up on the injury report is questionable. Al Horford is out. Um, and I'll, I'll read this. So regular season home teams on an under streak. That's what we're looking at. And, and if it's in a division game where both of these teams are, you know, really good, like a really competitive game is supposed to be, win percentage greater than 60, I have – 27 and 10 straight up, 25 and 12 against the spread, and also 25 and 12 to the under. So I just think, you know, with the rest advantage and just maybe the Celtics overlooking this game, I think the Nets can get it done plus the three points, and probably even on the money line. And then for the under, I did read off that trend. You have both of these teams, top 10 defensive rated teams the last five games. Three of the last four meetings have went under. Uh, last three games um, for the Nets, have went under and uh that trend also if you take out the 60 percent win percentage for both of them and just take it back to 2016 it's like a 700 game sample size and it's about 57 percent to the under as well so it was just a lot of system work and just thinking about the players who would sit jalen brown out kd out that's a lot of points missing so i took the nets plus the three um and i also took the under in the game. Got you, got you. I couldn't talk to you off there. I know Jalen Brown isn't ruled out yet, but with him going off for 41 points last night, I believe he took 22 shots in that game. Uh, wouldn't surprise me as well if he did end up sitting in this one, Josh. How are you looking at this game, my brother? Yeah, I, I have no idea what to expect in terms of Jalen Brown sitting or playing, to be honest. These injury reports are getting harder and harder to sort of uh, project going forward. Uh, you know, some games we can get it right, some games we're completely off the mark. We've seen this season when a player unexpectedly pops up as questionable, they do end up just being ruled out closer to tip off. But that also changed last week a couple of times as well. A couple of guys popped up questionable and then ended up playing. So uh, complete guesswork, I think, if we're trying to figure out what Jalen Brown's going to do. They do get Marcus Smart back. They get Rob Will back in this one. Al Horford rested as expected. He has done in basically every back-to-back -back situation this season. So... Uh, a couple of guys come in fresh, having not had to play the front end of the back-to-back, -back, um, you know, in that starting lineup, I think will provide a pretty good boost for them. Marcus Smart in particular going to be important, matching up with Kyrie Irving and trying to keep him under wraps. Obviously, the uh, impetus and the pressure on Kyrie to lead this team is um, pretty well known in, in the absence of Kevin Durant. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out exactly. Uh, I, I need to see what the Nets look like without Duran. He's been unbelievable this season and deserves to be, you know, in and amongst the MVP conversation. I think what he does for this team at both ends of the floor as well, because his defense has been absolutely elite. But uh, offensively, you know, not just scoring the bucket, but just the attention that he garners and, and the space that that therefore creates for a lot of the shooters outside, um, I think matters a lot for this team. So it'll be interesting to see how they kind of work through that and whether they're still able to operate the same sort of sets to the same level of success uh, against what's still a very good Boston defense. Like you said, they have uh, really turned things around at that end of the floor, ranking top five in a lot of categories over the past month on the defensive end. So yeah, I, I don't have a strong opinion on this game either way. I think if Jalen Brown goes, uh, I would lean towards the Celtics. If he sits and this drops closer to a pick though, there might still be value on Boston, but um, I, you know, I'm not exactly rushing to bet them in this situation or this spot against a pretty well rested Nets team. So, uh, complete pass for me, pretty close to market. And, and you know, again, if you want to get involved in the Boston side, you're just going to have to sit and wait to see what happens with Jalen Brown and figure out your entry point from there.
You know, that's a great point, Josh. Um, I must say, though, I know I don't have any official plays today, but I really agree with Ski on this one. I really want to get there with the Nets, uh, and if Jalen Brown is out in this game, I definitely think the Nets get done. I don't think that the Celtics offensively – now, obviously, they have some other guys, but when you have Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, I'm talking about the, that duo right there is – Probably, arguably, one the best in the league, in my opinion. You take one of those guys out, it kind of feels like the Rosen and Levine over there, right? You take one of those away, and the offense is just totally different because you have no rely on Tatum. You can really zero on in him. I know you got Derek White still, but name another guy on that team that's really going to de- demand the defense like Jalen Brown is. That could be a huge loss here if he's out, but I'll be honest, even before he was out, could only look Nets here. They got swept in the playoffs versus this team last year, guys. That was with the lame duck coach of Steve Nash. They lost earlier this year as well to this team. So you get same season revenge plus the playoff revenge. I believe they've lost eight straight to the Celtics. Um, I do personally believe that it ends tonight. I think Brooklyn gets the win. I would agree with my guy, Ski there. Ski's rocking with the Nets plus the three official in this one, my guys. Set over here. Oh, and the under, 227 and a half in this. Come on, Ski. You're going you gonna to find a way, man, to get the – <laughs> nah, my guy is ski right there, man. But uh, shoot, like shoot. Next- you said it. Nah, facts, facts. Next plus three and under two twenty seven and a half, man. <laughs> <laughs>